Terry McLaurin, is he being traded? Hey everybody, welcome back to another edition here of the Washington Football Maniacs. My name is Greg. Thank you for joining me this morning, this afternoon, whenever it is that you're watching this video. Please consider supporting this channel by subscribing to this channel and watching these videos, sharing them, whatever you possibly can do. And with that said, let's get into today's video. So there's been a topic going around brewing on social media and that topic is such a crazy topic to me it is the topic of trading terry mclaurin for what though i mean now that's that's the biggest thing i'm not exactly sure what we would be trading terry mclaurin our best wide receiver on the team one of the best wide receivers in the league for what you know more draft picks maybe but I just blows my mind. You know, I actually, every now and then, what I do uh, on Twitter, I'm, I'm a very active uh, Twitter follower, but not as active as some, some other folks. I will take a few days off from it every now and then, and then I'll, I'll hop back on, kind of see what's going on. And I did that, you know, I wasn't very active probably for a couple of days, and then I hop back on, and then suddenly I'm seeing these uh, posts about, trading Terry McLaurin and oh you know there's there's smoke there's rumors going on that you know maybe that there's a trade brewing for McLaurin trading off to somebody else and I'm like you got to be kidding me there's no way that we would be trading Terry McLaurin and if we trade Terry McLaurin then I think I would have lost all respect all confidence in this front office Ron Rivera everybody and I am one of the most optimistic uh, Washington fans you will probably find around here. And I love Ron Rivera. I loved Ron Rivera before he even came to Washington. You know, I, I respected him as a Panthers uh, uh, head coach. Now, you know, didn't exactly, you know, care for him, certainly, you know, when he was with the Eagles. But... Um, you know, still loved him as a Carolina Panther head coach, respected him, loved his coaching style, always felt that's what we needed here in Washington and was, you know, just tickled pink to see him come to Washington. And I think he's done a great job so far. So that being said, um, you know, I'm hearing all these rumors and I'm like, I know they're just rumors, but it, it's funny how these things start to unravel and start to blow up. And a lot of it has to do with, number one, the gullibility of fans and people around, and, and two, just, just, the, uh, just the psychology of how people work. You know, it's like you start to hear it enough, you, you start to play into the psyche of, of folks, then they start to actually start pondering these things, and, and suddenly they start believing certain things that are not necessarily the case or the truth and then you believe it long enough it does become the truth right and so now you got people who are almost angry at terry mclaurin uh, because they already feel they already have it in their heads that terry mclaurin doesn't want to stay here in washington why well because kirk cousins didn't want to stay here in washington why well because brandon sheriff didn't want to stay here in washington and because if you want to go back even further, Champ Bailey didn't want to stay here in Washington. And, you know, you had a lot of, um, you know, good players here who didn't want to stay in Washington. You had a lot of good players who didn't want to come to Washington. And so, you know, automatically we're going to assume that Terry McLaurin being such a great player that he is, is not going to want to stay in Washington because why would he want to come or why would he want to stay here and play for a team that is never going to give him a ring? And that's what it comes down to is the fact that us fans, and I hate to say this because I'm lumping myself into this as well, me being an optimist that I am, um, us fans in general have a loser mentality. And rightfully so, uh, but we have a loser mentality, meaning that we don't believe that this franchise is ever going to even get back to the Super Bowl 
let alone win another Super Bowl trophy. So therefore, we don't believe that any that we we don't believe that we deserve to have players of the caliber of Terry McLaurin on this team. And so because of that, then we come up with ways to hate these players enough to where they'll leave. And then we can be justified for the reasons of when they do leave. Well, he didn't want to be here anyway, so, you know, you know, forget about him. You know, he wasn't that great anyway, you know, or, well, it was all about the money for him. You know, who cares? You know, we, we can find our own guys like that. Well, he was our own guy. And, you know, it gets down to the fact that when, when we do start talking about money, and guess what? These players should get paid, and Terry McLaurin should get paid. Should he be the highest paid wide receiver at this point? Well, the way the market is working, yes. Technically, yes. Uh, Terry McLaurin has earned a long-term contract worth a lot of money. If you don't think he has, you have not been watching any football whatsoever. And so when, you know, it's all well and good when he's on this rookie contract and he's making these these big plays and we're all screaming scary Terry, scary Terry, and we're wearing his his um, jersey and we're supporting Terry McLaurin and we're arguing with other fans about how, you know, he's going to burn their best cornerback and all this stuff. And then we get down to the point to where, oh, it's time to pay him. I don't want to pay him. I don't want to make him the highest paid wide receiver in the league. I don't think he is. That that goes to Christian Kirk. That goes to uh, Avante Adams. You know, though, you know those guys like that. This is go to Terry McLaurin. You know what what has he done? He hasn't gotten into. Uh, um, you know he hasn't he hasn't won a, a playoff game has he no he hasn't won a playoff he hasn't done anything like that so you know that that's the mentality that we have as Washington fans and you know can you blame us in a way you can in a way you can't because uh, partly uh, you can blame us because well you know that's who we are we're very unfortunately our fan base is a little toxic right now and in a way um you can't blame us because we have seen the same story over and over and over again for the last 25 plus years this team has been a losy 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 <laughs> it's been a losy team it's been a losing team even before dan snyder got here you know honestly the team went downhill when joe gibbs retired the first time you know, when Joe Gibbs retired the first time, I knew as I was sitting in uh, physics class, um, that was my senior year of high school, and, you know, I had a, a high school teacher who would always come in and kind of tell us the news, and he told us the news that Joe Gibbs had retired, and my heart just sank. You know, I just sank right there in my... Uh, my chair there and my desk in the class because I knew, even at that age, I knew, okay, it's never going to be the same again. It never was. You know, glory years were over at that point. And that, that has been true. That has definitely been true. And certainly when uh, Daniel Snyder bought the team, took over, it solidified that fact. So having said all that, um, yeah, you can't blame us for being a little bitter as Washington fans. A lot has went on with this franchise on and off the field. So when you get to guys like Terry McLaurin, you know, it's a love-hate thing. We we love this guy, but at the same time, we don't feel like we deserve him. You know, it's like, it's like this relationship. You go out and you meet this person who was so great, so perfect in every way, but yet you have had such bad toxic relationships yourself in the past that you feel like you don't deserve that person. So you're going to do everything you can to push what push that person away, right? That's the same mentality that Washington fans are having with Terry McLaurin right now. You know, we feel like we don't deserve him. We really, we really don't. We feel like somebody else deserves Terry McLaurin because Terry McLaurin deserves to have 
a Super Bowl ring. He definitely does deserve to have a Super Bowl, Super Bowl ring. I just want him to have that ring here in Washington. I don't want him going anywhere else, folks. At some point, this has got to stop. We have got to keep our players. We have got to be able to keep these key guys here in Washington. Terry McLaurin is somebody you build around. You, you need to make sure that you keep him at all costs. Now that we've got a quarterback who will give him the ball and give him the ball downfield, you need to make sure that they establish a good relationship, a good repertoire, very quickly. And I think Carson Wentz will do that. I think, I think Carson Wentz, honestly, is going to be good for Terry McLaurin. I think he will be. Because Carson Wentz is going to heave that ball downfield. You know, Ryan Fitzpatrick would have done the same thing. You know, now the, you know, the the thing is we just hope that Wentz stays healthy. But, you know, Wentz can stay healthy. He's going to heave the ball downfield. He's got the arm. You know, Heineke didn't have the arm, unfortunately. But Terry McLaurin is going to have some more go routes. And he's going to have some more opportunities. And so I think because of that, there's some excitement being built. And I think that McLaurin has enough around here that he's going to want to stay. And, folks, you're just going to have to believe that, okay? All these rumors about McLaurin being moved, don't believe them. You know, if it happens, then believe it, right? But don't believe it now. If this video ages like milk later on, you can come back and laugh in my face all you want. But right now, do not believe it. I'm, I, I miss on a lot of things I say in these videos. Russell Wilson, the name not being Commanders. But this one's for sure. There is no way that this team is going to give up Terry McLaurin. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. Um, if you like these videos, please consider you know subscribing to this channel, honestly doesn't hurt to subscribe i need all of your subscriptions excuse me i need all of your subscriptions um and also uh, i do have a patreon i'll try to leave that link down in the description as well and with that said i will see you in the next one <laughs>